So our brains like to lie to us. And that is certainly true when we're going through a divorce or a significant breakup. Our brains start by telling us that we need that person, that we count on them for everything from fixing the toilet to processing a bad day at work to making it through a major illness. The truth is you don't need them. Maybe you want them. At this point, you probably still do. But you certainly don't need them. Think about the things that you truly need. You need food. You need water. You need shelter. And yes, you do need social connection. They are not your only social connection. There are ways around all of those things that you thought you needed them for. There's so much of that that you can do yourself, which is a wonderful gift of confidence when you realize that. And then there's other things that your other friends and family can provide for you. And there's still others that you might realize you thought you needed, but maybe you didn't need them at all. It's hard when we tell ourselves that we need somebody because then we truly feel like we cannot survive without them. But you can. You are not dependent upon them for your life or your livelihood or anything. You do not need them. You can live without them. You can let them go. Our brains also like to tell us that we're going to be alone forever. They like to turn negative and start to tell us that we're too old, we're too broken, we're too this, we're too that, to ever find love again. And it's so easy to believe those thoughts, to think that, yeah, that's true. This is it for me. That was my shot and it's over. But I really don't believe that. When I was going through my own divorce, I was still relatively young in my early 30s. But I had several friends who were in their 60s who had just recently entered into a new and happy relationship. And I looked to them for my motivation. You know, they had definitely thought that they would be alone forever. They went through many years of feeling alone, but it wasn't forever. And it's never too late. There's always, always chance for more love. Another lie that our brains like to tell us is that we'll never be happy again. You know, it's one of those things that however we feel right now, we have this way of feeling like that's going to be always, that it's, it's permanent. But that's not life. It doesn't matter if it's your happiest moment, it's not going to last. Or if it's your hardest moment, that doesn't last either. And what's interesting is some of the more recent research on happiness shows that we all have a basic happiness set point. And that regardless of what happens to us, we end up returning to about that same place again. But that our perspective is a little bit different because when we anticipate that when those good things happen, you know, when we get that raise, when we have that child, when we win the lottery, we think that we're going to be happier. And then we end up back in that same place and we're disappointed because we expected so much more. But yet the reverse is also true. We over-exaggerate how much tragedy is going to hurt us, how much that's going to impact our long-term happiness. And so then when it does happen, and after some time we end up back about as happy as we were before, it feels like a gift because we know what we expected and what we ended up with was actually so much better than that. 
So even though right now you're not happy, that doesn't mean that you're never going to be happy again. You will be. Just give it time.